Now this next technique, you're really gonna, I mean, I, I can't tell you how much I love this theme. It's so simple to work with once you understand how it thinks, what it expects from you, et cetera, et cetera. But enough of that. So let's go back to the ultimatum theme, templates. Again, based on these choices, I go into layouts. Then I have something up here called assign layouts. Well, what's that about? This is really cool stuff. This makes it so simple to do what you need to do. So again, keep in mind, this is just not a theme. The ultimatum theme, which I can get you a great deal on if you take my courses, the ultimatum, the $125 version. And I'll be very candid with you. You can get the ultimatum theme through Mighty Deals between 55 and 60 bucks. Okay, my course comes with the theme. So if you want to save time and money and learn how to use the product the right way and also get the product and share with you support and help you every step of the way, you want to sign up for my courses. I mean, what are you waiting for? I mean, if you're, if you're going to bust your head going through tons and tons of free videos on YouTube from people who really don't use the product all that much. I mean, you know, I'm a user of this. I live it. I breathe it. I do it. So here's a really cool technique here. So I'm gonna select assign layout. Now, what do I want to do? Okay, well, I have my full width layout and then I have my ads layout. Now, when do I wanna pull up my ads layout? When I search a page? No. When I go to the home page? No. When I go to a single post? No. So based on these choices, what do you want to do? Well, in this particular case, I do wanna say, when I go to a single post, understand the difference. What I have here in the front end by default is my post. It's bringing up all my posts in a row. That's part of the WordPress loop. What I want to see is if I have a single post coming up here, I want to go to this particular layout. So let's put that into action. So if I come up here, there's nothing to save. Right here, this is set up for single post. Really cool thing here. Now you can have this in both places, by the way. Okay. Now I don't have to worry about multiple posts because it's going to do what it's going to do by default because I have this set up this full width layout by my default as my default theme. How do I know that? Because it doesn't say default. This one, if I click this one, this would be default. So you kind of have to understand how it thinks, right? So let's let's put this into into uh, into a test here. So I go to view site, and here's my single post. My single post, again, I'm going to use my default layout that did not have the advertising over to the right. However, if I click right here, and any single post is going to take me to this page. Let's do this again. Let's just pick a post. Pick a post. Any post. Pick a post. Any post. The wheel spinning. Oh, multiple paragraph posts. Boom. I click right there, and it goes to this page. I come up here and I'm going to go to image post. Boom, it goes to that page. Now keep in mind with an image post, maybe you don't want to put the ads here. Maybe you want to put the ad up on top. Maybe you want to put the ad at the bottom. Incidentally, I'm using a really cool uh, uh, plugin that I will share with you in subsequent videos. Now keep in mind, you take my courses my all access course, my all access ultimatum theme course. In fact, the only way to get a deal on that, I have great deals on my website. Okay, so if I go to my website, I have all kinds of deals here. But if you really want a great deal, okay, you click on better deal, that's gonna take you right to my student portal where you can get better deals from my all access students. Very important step. You might think I'm out of my mind about this. But I offer up select all access students, and these are students that are with me a minimum of two to two and a half years. I give them the, um, I allow them to resell my courses to you at a discount. On top of that, here's the here's the cool thing. If you go to thinklearnearn.partners, you can, I will refer you to one of my all access students. If you buy a coupon from them. 70% of your purchase will go towards them building their online or print business. Plus it helps them with their family and their basic needs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is my way of giving back. So let's get back into our already scheduled program, already in progress. All right, so I just wanna share with you how incredibly flexible this is. So let's say as an example for the image page, I wanna come up with a different type of layout. So what, we, what can we do with that? Let's go back here. Here's my image page. And if I select the image page, my image post, we can edit the post. And we're going to say, hey, if I have my image post, because the image is very important to me, I want to physically select this layout and update that. 
Now, keep in mind, it said by default, so it's going to pick it by default. Well, what's in my default definition? Makes sense? Hopefully it does. Okay, so now if I come here and I hit headers post, and I have my add over to the right, and if I come over here and I hit image post, okay, because I set this to be my non my, my non add, it doesn't do what I asked it to do. Okay, now here's another cool thing we can do. I still want to put advertising in here, but I want to focus on image. So how can I do that? Let's go back into here. Let's go back under dashboard. Okay, let's go to ultimatum theme again, templates. And based on these choices, let's go over here to layout. And since I'm a big fan of not reinventing the wheel, let's take this particular layout because this has the little goodies in here that we need. So let's take that, edit that. Actually, my mistake on that meant to say clone that, not edit that. Let's clone that. Okay, so let's call this one. Let's edit this one. So that was RS for right side. So let's just call this layout. Let's call this layout bottom ads. Now, if I can learn how to spell bottom, that might be a good start and save the layout. Now, and since I have enough room here, I actually put that particular ad over to the right. So let's say I want to, in this particular case, I don't want to have anything over here to the right. I just want to have something at the bottom. So I can be very lazy and I can take this and I can drag this over to here. And I'm now going to make a full width layout. So I'm going to insert row. I'm going to put 100% width row. And I'm going to take this and drop it down and this and drop it under. So this I no longer need for, so I come here, I delete that. We're going to talk about slideshows coming up in another video. So if I come up here and save the changes. Now keep in mind this is layout bottom ads. Now keep in mind that this is a this is not the correct ad here. So what I would probably want to do is go back to my media library and add some new advertising. So I select right here. Again, I have these named properly so I know exactly what I'm faced with. And I just want to do an ad. You can actually see from right here. I want to do an ad that goes horizontally. So I'm going to select this, open this. And again, I'm working smart. I have these set up in a sequence. So if I select this, I can see the sequential number. One, two, three, four, five. So I can take this. See, this is at one. Then I have two, three, four, five. So I copy that. I update. Actually, I didn't have to update that. So now I've hit the back button a few times. Actually, this opened up a separate window, so I can't hit the back button. When I went into my media library, that opened up a separate window. But I can hit the back button here. Puts me right back into here. I just have to refresh this, by the way. Let's go back to layout. And bottom add, edit. Get, get in the habit of naming things correctly. Not just that they make sense for you tomorrow, next week, next week, but next month, next year. So again, I don't, this is going to be where my slideshow is going to go. And so this, I simply take this URL and I paste. It's still going to the same website, by the way. And I save that. So again, this is called bottom ads. So how can I get this to work? Well, if I now go back to my site, and I select that image category or image post. The image post was going to my regular image post, but I want to put that ad at the bottom. So based on these choices, how do I do that? Well, again, the simplest way to do that is to edit your post. Then over here to the right, you guessed it, we're going to pick the layout bottom ad and update that. And it's really, really that simple. Okay. This is such a cool framework. I really want you guys and gals and boys and girls and even people from New Jersey. Yes, I said that. Even people from New Jersey. I want you to get this. I know it might be a little difficult if you're from New Jersey, but, you know, we'll, we'll work that out. So I come up here to visit site again. So now if I go to my image post, not to be confused with Emily post or post serial for that matter, 
So at the bottom, I got my banner ad. Now, of course, I could put this on top. I could put this on the bottom. I can put this any place I choose. Okay, now, if you really want to pepper up your information with ads, okay, so let's understand how we can do that. So I could basically create an ad sequence. So let's go back here to our homepage. We're not going to do this, but I just want to share with you a concept here. So if I go back up to, oh, I'm not paying attention. I am in my, I was on the, I was in the beginning of the homepage. I just want to click here and go back home. So you could actually put an ad after every post. Now, I think that would maybe drive people a little insane, but you could do that. Now, drum roll, please. In the next video, I'm going to share with you how incredibly cool it is to do a slideshow. Like so simple, a few point and clicks and to do custom slideshows per page. We'll talk about that in our next video. This is exciting stuff for what? Again, the only way to get a better deal on my all access courses or select ultimatum or WordPress courses is through my all access students. And I'll have a link for that on the video that you're currently watching.